basically I'm a dentist and I just came from Mithawra yesterday and, and the professor asked me how uh, you're a dentist yeah. and and what is what is the relation between your work with, uh, that is dentistry and I was in oil and they told him that I was born in Sawira and the Sawira is the mother of the of the of Argan oil and we go through the street and in Sawira what we have we have the hard hard wood a special wood and the Argan oil and even my my grandmother friends they are working on Argan oil how they are making the notes of Argan oil so I grow in that environment between Argan oil the wood I study okay the study I'm a dentist but this is the truth like we we talk we talk argan oil at Isawira and we try to bring it here so like we will help the, the, the women here to the mountains to make a little bit of money and to make argan oil for all the tourists that come from, from the world. And Beautiful. Yeah. So it's and become a passion. He was also telling me the reason this one grew is because they brought 20 kilos yeah, we, of turab, of, turab. of soil for the microbes in Isawira. Yes, 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 we bring it from the soil because we have tried to play before without the turab, but it doesn't work. And we see that, and we, 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 we think that the turab, we need something. We need something Microbes. to make it. Yes, we, we bring the nuts from the soil, but it doesn't work. Uh, and we say that sense. there is something, yeah. there is something missing. So we have tried to bring the turab like uh, seven years ago. I think that the tree has more than seven years. Kind of something like that. So once we bring the turab, we had the nuts, and I told the professor before the summer we had more more nuts here. We Another had more than here. this one. Yeah, and we, yes, just one yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, there is another one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just, beca just because uh, it was so hot that here here on the summer, so that's why we lost them. They don't like to eat Yes, one. yes. How do but you plant them? Do you just dry them off? Or yes, we just dry them off. Do you keep the, the skin on them, the, the whole seed with the, with the skin dried? Or do you take it apart? No, we take the part. Do you yeah, take the nut out? Nuts. Yeah. We bring the nut. We put the nut on the turab with the turab. But you open, up the, you open up the seed yeah, to get the nut. It. Yeah, 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 we open it. And, and if you know that, I don't know if you need to know how the argan oil trees, there is in Isawira we have some trees, but they have more than 300 years. Yeah. And how it works? Normally, normally the argan tree doesn't need a lot of water. Why? Because they bring the water from from with the root from the air. Yeah, the so deep root. They, yes, the deep, they have some deep root and they bring the water from all the sides. That's the that's why because we have them for like they have more than 300 years and they are not kind of affected by the, the by if you, if you don't have enough enough uh, water. Right. Yeah, they're not affected by that. How, why? Because they bring the water. Not Do you know, was there any kind of relationship between the builders of the Khatara and the Segiya and the Argan trees? You know, because in your history in the mountains, people traditionally built these things called Khatara, which are like caves, tunnels underground for the water to percolate and go through. And then they had Segiyas. I saw this in the water museum, the mm -hmm. Matafel Maya and they had segiyas, which are canals, taking the water over. So there's been a long history of hydrology, of managing where the water goes. Did people see argon appearing near where they did this? There is no relation between the segiyas and, and argon oil. They make it for other, other, other plants, like the olive ah. or something else. But there is no, if you go to Esawira, then we have the mother of, of mm -hmm. argon oil, or the argon oil, when the argon oil grows, I'm pretty sure, and ninety-nine yeah. percent, that there is no sagia near to an argan tree. Wow. There is no one. There is no one, and this is the secret. Right. Secret. And there is a lot of people who try to to, to, to take it to another country. But they, they, they had they had the tree, but without the nut. Yeah, some big trees, but without yeah. any nut. So there is no relation between sagias were like a, a yeah. deep relation between sagias. So this is real bioregionalism. Yes, There's something in the, the, the soil, the microbes, the particular mineral content. Yes, turab, microbiota, mm -hmm. the weather, yeah. the weather control, yeah. the weather. But I think that the water has its responsibility, but not. not right. But it's not the main. The main, the main thing. Yes. Yeah. This is like in uh, we learned from a fellow who came from Georgia. There's one place in the state of Georgia near Florida where they are able to grow sweet onions that have no bitterness, mm -hmm. no nothing makes you cry. And they tried to transplant it somewhere else and they become the same bitter onions. Yeah. 
and it's this one soil that makes sweet onions and there's no of the... There's I, mean, no, uh, I think it's not only the soil, it's just the air, whatever like... It's everything about it, yeah. In the, in the air, it's the yes, whole it's environment. Yeah, right? that's it. That's, yeah, that's what I, what I yeah. to say. Yeah. 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 